I'm Pat. Welcome back to my channel. I want to talk to you today about bad and horrible salon experiences and give you some tips on what to do and how to avoid them. All right? So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Don't change your channel. I'll be right back. Let me start by saying that I have not been to a hair salon to have my hair done in many years. Um, actually, it wasn't even a salon. It was a, um, a beauty school and the students were allowed to practice on your hair as long as they disclosed to you that they, you know, that they were what year they were in and, um, and all that. And you could let them know what you wanted done. If it was something they could do, they would do it. And if they couldn't do it, then they would turn it over to their supervisor or whatever. I never had anything done other than a wash and a trim. So, because my hair was relaxed for many years and I just took care of it myself after that. I don't particularly like people messing in my hair. So, uh, but I want to talk about bad salon experiences. I've read and I've seen a lot of videos and I've seen the damage that's been done uh, at natural hair salons. So one of the things that I want to say to you is before you go into a natural hair salon, make sure that what they're advertising is actually what they do. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, just because they say they're a natural hair salon doesn't mean that they do all aspects of care in regard to natural hair. They may just do sew-ins or uh, weave-ins or things like that onto your hair but they may not know how to take care of your hair outside of that arena. So, I wanna give you a few tips to help you avoid some disastrous mistakes that have been made and that will continue to be made. Number one is, when you uh, do your research, and, and there's all kinds of research you can do, you can look on the um, internet, you can check the Better Business Bureau, you can check the uh, uh, Board of Cosmetology or whatever it is in your particular state and look to see if this particular salon has had a lot of complaints or any complaints at all and what those complaints were if they will give you that information. Number two, don't take your friend's word for it because your hair is your hair, right? And what you may want done is not necessarily what your friend wanted done uh, and you may not even have the same technician as your friend. Number three, if you go into a hair salon and you look around at the uh, stylist or the natural hair care uh, uh, technicians in there and they're missing their hairline or their hair is not well kept, uh, the place is overall looking unprofessional uh, and it just has an overall bad feel about it, run. Number four, I think that's number four. If everything appears to be okay and in order and you sit down in the chair and the first thing you notice is that before the stylist uh, detangles your hair, she picks up a very small tooth comb, run. Number five, if the stylist picks up a large tooth comb and starts at the root of your hair instead of the end of your hair, run. These should not be things that you have to explain to a professional who has been to school and has been certified in their craft. Number six, understand that just because you go into a natural hair care salon doesn't mean that everyone in that establishment has been to school to learn that particular craft. The person that is uh, registered with the license probably has been, maybe. There's no guarantee to that. This is why you need to do your research ahead of time so that you don't come out with a lot of damage. Uh, you don't come out with someone, I, I, I saw a video and I saw some pictures of a young lady who went into a salon that was recommended to her and uh, the what lady put, she wanted a, a relaxer put in her hair. She was moving away from her natural hair and she wanted a relaxer put in her hair. And the lady put the relaxer in her hair and then she walked away for an hour. 
and it was burning. And she said to the stylist, this is burning. Is it supposed to burn? Oh yeah, it's supposed to burn. We know that if it burns, it's working. How many times have you heard that? So it's not supposed to burn. That means you're experiencing chemical burns in your skin. And that should not happen. That can damage your hair follicles to a point where your hair may not ever grow in that place again. So things like that. Do your homework. Uh, don't be afraid to get up and leave. You're not obligated to pay for bad service. Uh, you, there are telltale signs that you will know if this person knows what they're doing based on the instruments that they use. If you're getting a press, uh, a silk press or something like that, ask them before they start, what products are you using? Ask to see the products. You have a right. It's your hair, right? Um, if you're doing a silk press, you let them know what temperature you want that heat to stop at, 425, 325, whatever it is, and how many passes you want them to do on your hair when they're pressing it. If they going over three and four and five passes on your hair, they don't know what they're doing. I would not let them do my whole hair. Head, I would go home, get in the shower, and let my hair revert back. Am I on number eight? I don't know. You guys keep up. If they don't use a heat protectant, <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. You will experience heat damage. And just because they use a heat protectant, if, they, if the heat that they're using is too high, you will experience heat damage, okay? Now, also, when you go in and you ask for a trim, a trim is not a cut. A professional knows that a trim is not a cut. When you tell them, I want my ends trimmed, just the ends, you tell them how much you want off if the technician does not say, how much would you like me to take off? Do you want me to take off an inch? Do you want me to take off two inches? You tell them how much you want taken off. If you see five inches of your hair hit the floor, get up. <laughs> Don't stay there in that chair. Don't talk yourself out of the obvious and feel like, well, they're supposed to know what they're doing. I can't tell you how many women I've seen say that. Well, I guess they know what they're doing. Well, obviously they don't know what they're doing if you told them what you wanted and they're doing something different. If you told them you want to trim and you see half of your hair laying on the floor, they don't know what they're doing. If you tell them you want to text slacks or, you know, you want a silk press or whatever, and you smell your hair frying, they don't know what they're doing, and you're not under any obligation to sit there and allow them to torture you because of their incompetence, okay? We have to take care of our hair. This is part of our body. It's an extension of who we are. It's the same as if you go into a nail salon. If they're not sterilizing their equipment, you're going to get a fungus. You're going to have problems, and it is hard to get rid of that stuff. This is why I don't go into these places. Last, which I think might be number 10. I'm not exactly sure. Don't hold me to it. But anyway, here's number 10, I think. Learn to do your own hair. Just take the time to learn to do your own hair. You know what you want done? Learn how to do that. Practice on yourself, right? But use the same techniques. If you're going to put heat on your hair, make sure you use a heat protectant. There are a lot of products out there that you can use. I don't put heat on my hair. Um, I just don't. I mean, the most heat goes on my hair is a conditioning cap. But I don't put forced heat from a, a, a dryer or anything like that. I haven't done it yet. I'm not saying I never will, but I haven't done it yet. So I haven't done it in eight years. I have not put heat on my hair at all, except for uh, in this last few months when I've been using a, a, a warming cap uh, for conditioning. Learn to do your hair yourself. That's the safest way um, to ensure that you get what you want. And if you don't get what you want, ain't nobody's fault but your own, right? All right, so that's what I wanted to say. I got to protect us out there. We're trying to restore our beauty and, 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 and get things right and get our hair healthy. We want our hair to be healthy and gorgeous and beautiful. And we don't want to be ashamed when we walk outside and people say, girl, who did your hair? What happened to you? You need to sue those people or whatever, when it could have been avoided, right? If you knew what to look for, you will have saved yourself a lot of problems. Check with the Better Business Bureau. See how long have they been operating, right? Ask about the, the people's credentials when you get there. What school did you graduate from? When did you graduate? And listen, if they get annoyed over all of your questions, 
run. All right? All right. That's it for me. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.